Hi, praise the Lord. This is Ambassador David. And welcome to Mwangaza Love Society. We have just transisted from just being Mwangaza Youth Fellowship. We are officially Mwangaza Love Society. Now we want to also welcome all the youths from wherever you are. Feel free to join us. We love you so much. May God bless you and may God be with you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Mariam Paul and I'm born again and I bless the Lord for this opportunity to come and share the word he has for us. And um, the topic of today is investing in God's kingdom. I like us to pray before we start. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you for this night, O oh God. We thank you because, Father, you have good plan, O King of Glory, for us. We thank you because, Father, you're going to speak to us in a great and mighty way. In Jesus' name, O King of Glory. We thank you, my Father and my precious King of Glory, that the word, O God, mighty and everlasting King of Glory, O Father God, shall be active in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O King of Glory, be with us as we start, O King of Glory, and guide us. O King of Glory, and open, O God, uh, the, uh, the, the, and open our inner ears, O King of Glory, so that we may understand, O God, what you have for us this night. In Jesus' name, Amen. And see everyone that is in this world have something that the Lord wants them to do. You have, you do not come into this world just purposes. No, there is something, there is that purpose in your life that the Lord has for you. And whenever you invest correctly, you invest that what God has put in you. And there is something I needed to be sure before this, that you cannot truly, truly, ill like you invest wholeheartedly into God's kingdom if you are not born again. Actually, the first thing for you, if you need to live a purposeful life, You need to have Christ in you because he's the one who gives you the focus. He's the one who directs your ways. He's the one who make, make you understand why you are brought into this world. And that's what I should continue now. The Bible says, uh, what I'm saying is this, uh, that number one, the advantages of investing in God's kingdom in the right way is that you fulfill God's purpose in your life. As I was saying, it's very, very, very tiresome and very, it feels so empty. Unaskia, uh, like you are just living just for the sake of living. It's not good to live a, a life that is purposeless. It's good to live a life that is purposeful. A life that fulfills God's will. You see, so one of the advantages is this. Uh, that when you live in, when you invest in God's kingdom, you are fulfilling God's, when, when you invest in God's kingdom, you are fulfilling God's purpose in your life. You see? And whenever you fulfill God's purpose in your life, it means that uh, you are living a life, a life that you are meant to live even before the foundation of the world, even before you came into this world. Uh, there is that alignment uh, either in your workplace, uh, either in your family, whatever that you do, you know that I'm living a life that is purposeful. That is one of the advantages uh, of investing in God's kingdom. Another advantage is that um, you find fulfillment, uh, you find joy. There is that, uh, there's that peace. The, like the way Christ said that uh, the peace I leave unto you, it's not like the way the world gave. Uh, the peace I leave unto you, this one the world cannot give you. This one means uh, that this life, uh, this peace that Christ gives you, 
it does not it does not matter the challenges that you'll face it does not mean that when you invest in god's kingdom you'll not encounter challenges challenges will be there but there is that fulfillment there is that joy that comes from it there is that peace that comes from from you investing in the right way in his kingdom that's why it's very very important that you invest well in god's kingdom for you to find fulfillment, for you to find joy, for you to find peace. In Jesus' name. Another, another, another advantage is that um, there shall be no regrets in your life, for you did everything out of love. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14, Let all that you do be done with love. So you see, when you invest in the right way, you will not have any regrets. Because you see, investing in the right way means that uh, you're not investing like uh, expecting something like uh, you want to prove a point to people or expecting some reward from people because most of the time it's always going to bring disappointment. Whenever there is too much expectation in someone, especially from people, there is so much disappointment that comes from it. That's why whenever unakutaka maybe Maybe you're working, you're trying so hard to work, you, 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 maybe in your workplace, maybe in your family, you are serving your family to the maximum, that the motive, no, but it's so wrong. The motive is so wrong. Because when in your heart, Unapata, maybe I'm expecting these people to appraise me. I'm expecting these people to show me appreciation. But what if it doesn't happen? What will you do? That's where, you know, now, when you invest from me, uh, when you invest in a wrong way in God's kingdom, that means if the motive is not right, there'll be, there'll be a lot of full, uh, there'll be there'll be there be a lot of regrets. You'll start finding that uh, you you, 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 you are like you are becoming rebellious because it's not from the heart because you are not investing in the right way. But if you are investing in the right way and you are doing it out of love, out of pure love, and that's why I said from the beginning this one. Because as human beings, we have fallen short of God's glory. As human beings, we cannot be able to show love without having Christ in us. That's why I said from the beginning, you need Jesus Christ for this love to manifest, for, for you to manifest this love into the world. You need Christ in your life. You need Jesus Christ so that he may teach you how to love. And it is in this one, as you grow in Christ, as you grow to know him, as you who ask, you know, when, 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 um, when you know Jesus Christ, you, you, and the more you, you, you desire to know him, the more you love him, and the more that love, you are going to show it into the world. So that's why I'm saying, for you to do things out of total love, total love, because you have aligned, you have, you have invested correctly, you have aligned yourself, God has aligned you into the way that he has for you in this world. You are, whenever you do everything that you do out of love, you shall not encounter any regrets. You shall not uh, encounter any disappointment. Furthermore, me, I know I'm doing it for Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter if I'm being appreciated or I'm not appreciated. At the end of it all, I'm doing it for God's glory. I'm doing it because I love Jesus. No, no. That, that's why it's very, very important when the love of Jesus Christ is flowing in your heart. In Jesus' name, oh, we bless you, Lord. The, the, other, the other advantage is this. There is reward in heaven. That is Colossians chapter 3, verse 24. Knowing that from the Lord you receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And you see, if you lead there before 20, 24, verse 24, if you lead 23, that's why it says that whatever you do, make sure that you do it as if you are doing it unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And whenever you see the Bible saying something, the, anything that is written in the word of God, it's so true and it's so practical in our lives. So when God said that you do it unto him, he knows what he's saying. He knows the disappointments that comes when you invest wrongly, when invest in the in, in a way that is brought right. And this one means the motive of our heart really matters. So it means that um, there is a reward for us 
the rewards will not only be here in the world in, in the world because there is also the rewards that comes in the world when we invest correctly or when you invest in the right way ni kama tu venye tu unaweza chukua pesa zako and then you invest somewhere if you invest well it will be a fruit the same when it comes to when you are doing things for God's glory when you invest in the right way it means that at the end of it all there is a reward even if uh, in the world because there's so many challenges there's so many issues of the, there's so many issues that comes up in this world na yesu mwenyewe ni alisema that in this world you face trouble so whatever that you face even if you are investing the right way and you are facing challenges uh, that one should not make you feel like ah uh, you feel like uh, you want you want to just run away you just want you just don't want to do anything no it will just encourage you because yes mwenye ni alisema that in the world you're going to face trouble so be encouraged continue investing right in God's kingdom you should not uh, you should not just quit because at the end of it all know that uh, there is a way out always god make sure that he brings a way out for his people and those those who are willing to do things for his glory so remember that there is a reward for you in heaven there is a reward in you that, that is in heaven and you know and you know when when god says there's that reward that reward cannot be compared by whatever by by whatever suffering that you'll encounter in this world that reward will be so great that you forget all your sorrow so remember there is that that reward even if people not recognize you when you invest when you are investing in god's kingdom especially kuna mtu anasema there are some ministry uh, when you are doing the ministry if how ko pale mbele ya mani you are not seen unaanza kusikia like ah mimi i'm not seen so uh what's the need maybe uh, continue this because maybe so you see the motive ha nimeanza kukua mbaya unaona the motive has start becoming wrong because uh, now it's not for God's glory. No, it's just that you want to be seen palembele ama you want people to recognize you there to get that's where you'll start getting tired because you're not investing in the right way. And remember that's why I want to remind you there is a reward in you in, in heaven. Even if people do not see it right now, there is that reward for you, specifically for you that is in heaven because the intention of whatever you do really matters the intention the motive behind whatever you do it's what god looks at so i want to encourage you that there is a reward for you in heaven so continue investing in the right way in jesus name another thing is that you become a blessing to others this is this is so great there, there is this quote that i love that blessed to be a blessing I just love that God. Hakuna kitu it feels so good when you give. It is indeed a blessing to give than to receive. When you're investing correctly in God's kingdom, in whatever way, in your family, in your job place, when you are with, with people discussing, yani even when maybe you may meet pahali and you are just talking, you can invest even correctly in your words. The things that you speak to people, the way that you relate with people, still you in a matter sana. Because uh, many, that's why tuna, that mimi, mimi mostly I advocate, it's very, very good to to be sensitive with what you say to people, with what, how, how, how you speak to them. Because at the, at the end of it, all, many people do not realize that whatever you speak, whatever you say, that is an investment that you are making. And that investment uh, you can be making a wrong investment or a right investment you can be a person mwenye huwezi huwezi kwa ina conversation maybe we encourage someone unapata tu at the end of it all people will get out of that place being discouraged and it's good to ask yourself do i really invest correctly in people's lives am i really a blessing to people because it's good it, it's good it's good sometimes kujita mkutano unajiuliza some some questions like every day unajiita mkutano jioni unajiuliza hey am i really a blessing to others am i really a blessing and unajiuliza hiyo siku nime meet watu wangapi have i really invested invested well in people's lives in people's hearts 
ama mimi mwenyewe nimeenda nikivunja mioyo mio ya watu you see even in our status especially size even you to go it can be as the top status it can be whichever platform that we use in those platform let me tell you the truth you can become a blessing to people all you can discourage them totally in those status and most of the time we don't realize sometimes when you put a two at it's something you are just putting but at the end of it all you realize that uh, if someone is to be open with you someone really recognizes things the, in, in a right way atakwambia ukweli na atakwambia in a way that uh, in a and atakwambia ukweli na atakwambia in a way that it sometimes it will shock you you'll find that truly you have not been investing in the right way in people's hearts and you see uh, when it comes to the things that you are pointing direct to people's hearts those matters are very heavy maybe sometimes mtu anaonaka investment ni venye tu maybe unafanya vitu or maybe you're somewhere but also even those spiritual true things are being a blessing maybe you've given kitu you are given something something to someone you've spoken words of life to someone those are also you are investing and it's good to ask yourself am i really a blessing to others ama mimi mwenyewe na kuaga i don't know where i am ama whenever i meet people hata watu wengine wanasikia run away from me they don't want to have a conversation with me because uh, because uh, i've torn their hearts and most of the time it's always good to ask yourself most of the time is when unaweza kuwa you are breaking people's hearts in a way that you didn't even know and it's, it's always good to at the end of the day it's always good to sit, to sit down especially for a born again christian you will know you will know if kabisa nili hurt mtu ama siko muhat because the holy spirit is in you and he'll convict you and he will tell you today there is things that you said this and this you've not become a blessing to these people he will tell you even whatever you post whatever you whatever you post as a child of god ni vizuri kujiuliza ni vizuri kukaa hivi chini unasema mimi i want to be a blessing in my, my social media i want to invest well i want to use my phone well you see because this is simu most data squeeze naona especially na mtandao na nini ndio we are able to reach out to many people it's good to as a, as a christian as a truly born again christian it's good we use our phone in the right way because god has given us the media the platforms so that we may use well so i pray that the lord help us in this because uh, indeed for every child of god for every born of god for every child born of god that child is indeed a blessing and we are called to be a to be a, we are called to be a blessing to other because I, I, as i repeat this quote it says that you are blessed to be a blessing to others in jesus name we bless you lord we adore you precious father oh as a, there, there is something i needed also to touch concerning the kingdom investment there is a, when it comes to investing in kingdom of god and investing well kuna ee jambo yenye nimeona most of the time we we fail most of the time we fail and that's why unakuta most of the time we deviate ama unakuta we ama unakuta umeiona mtu maybe that person maybe especially in ministry because ministry kabisa is where you really touch the heart of people directly you find that uh, you, you are doing ministry you are doing ministry and you see when you are in the ministry there is so many discouragement because you are dealing with people you are dealing uh, with you are dealing with different characters and personality but most of the time unapataga truly we are not investing in the right way because most of the time in akwaga we want to prove something we want to prove a point but this night what the lord is telling us that may our focus be on to jesus our focus should be on to him if truly 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 we need to run this race in the right way we need to consider what are we pointing at we need to consider what is the motive of our heart if truly we want to invest in a way that ah mungu atakiangalia mungu atakiangalia the work that you are doing in whichever way even we are supposed to invest 
well in our finances you see hiyo ni kitu yenye mtu una, unasikia kakaa watu wengi wa wanakuta maybe they are avoiding but our finance we need also to invest well in our finances in God's kingdom because God has blessed us in various ways and in different ways. God does not expect you to go beyond the capacity just given you. You just serve the Lord even also with your finances. And say so just so much too you can serve the Lord with your finances in the ministry peke yake in the church. You can serve the Lord even the way you support your family. You are also investing in God's kingdom. That the but the motive behind everything that you do I'm telling you it really matters. That is what I, I, I as I'm almost concluding I'll say this the motive of whatever you do of any investment you do in your in your in your home in in your in your workplace in your ministry or whatever that you do the motive behind am the intention of your heart truly matters. Sometimes you need to go and invest and you can invest rightly but in the eyes of God Mungu anaona it just empty because the motive is wrong. Wacha tu goja ukwe shake and kidogo if that's when you know you have been investing wrongly. Wacha tu experience any disappointments or experience discouragement. I'm a something to Mungu allow to ikuje so that your heart to be tested. That's when you know that the motive of your heart is it right? or is it wrong when you invest in God's kingdom so i just pray that the lord to help us because uh, this topic of investing in God's kingdom it's so heavy i just pray that the lord will open our eyes to understand this in a deep way to understand this in a way that the lord wants us to understand in Jesus name i pray that god will 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 deal with the condition of our hearts in a way that If it a point and our focus is on to Jesus. Me my focus was on is on to Jesus. To kufika ile point and Paul alisema for me I've run the race and I've finished it. And I'm 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 seeing my reward. To fika to that point. Yani the focus is on to Jesus. For us to be able to drive, to drive in this life and to do what you're supposed to do and our hearts to be okay. Our focus should be on to Jesus him being the living water that even in when we feel we are weak when you are feeling challenges he will strength strengthen us even in the midst of that and i believe that the lord is going to help us invest in the right way but remember you need to desire and you need to tell the lord to deal with the condition of your heart to help you to invest in the right way with a heart of good intention In Jesus name father we bless you for your word your word is living oh god and your word is powerful in the mighty name of Jesus i believe and i know god that this word oh god is going to work in our lives in a deeper way in the mighty name of Jesus our king of kings and the lord of lords be glorified oh god as so king of glory precious daddy you, you you continually work oh king of glory the condition of our hearts in jesus name lord i believe and i know that oh god as we continue the journey of salvation as we continue the life with our lives in, in in this world oh god father we shall invest in the right way in the kingdom in the mighty name of jesus christ oh king of glory we honor you this night and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray amen may the lord bless you Hi, praise the Lord. This is Ambassador David. And welcome to Mwangaza Love Society. We have just transitioned from just being Mwangaza Youth Fellowship. We are officially Mwangaza Love Society. Now we want to also welcome all the youths from wherever you are. Feel free to join us. We love you so much. May God bless you and may God be with you.
Nasi kwetu tumaini Likazaliwa Likazaliwa